Welcome to my another video. In this video, you're gonna learn how to switch between the volumes and the quantity of your data and how to create that switch button that I'm using now in order to switch between the uh, amount of the sales and the sales uh, volume in terms of the dollars. So the problem can be different in your case. So you might have the different uh, visualization here instead of the bar plot you might have the uh, line graph or some any other problem but it doesn't change at all what is your problem the, the things that is important is that you need to create the dynamic buttons here so let's go and start from the scratch what we will need here I will bring he, this one the data I will bring the data here so you already have don't think we already have uh, a few days selected uh, for making it easier to work with or even we can use all right I will show you a bit with a few days so what we're gonna need here is the bar plot right we are bringing here the bar plot and we need to plug in the data here for instance the data about the quantity we want to see the quantity we want to see the date here and we want to see the sales amount here so as you see the quantity is become, becoming so small that it's not even seen in our bar plot so you cannot get any insight about this um, how can we mitigate this problem is by creating that switch buttons so now i have this switch buttons here and i'm going to show you how i created that buttons there are different versions different ways of creating that switch buttons in my case but i have used the uh, insert data uh, enter data i mean enter data so i've created the the table and uh, I've called the, the table let's call in this case which uh, volume and quantity quantity and uh, we're gonna call the name of the column and we're gonna give the the values to the uh, on, on the rows on the values so it's gonna basically create when you click on the load a new data table um, so you're gonna have on the DAX but you don't have the in the in on your uh, when you go to the power query you are not gonna see this table um, what next we should do is to bring that filter here so we're gonna create a new filter and we are gonna insert that switch volume and quant this one in the filter so we're gonna have this small nice cute filter here the switch between this one and this one it's not working right now because there's no any anything that might make it work and in order to make it work we need to create a new measure for instance here i have created the new measure and i called here this measure dynamic measure where's my measure dynamic i have mistakenly created that dynamic um the reseller but we, have, we don't need in the reseller let me show you what dynamic does Basically, dynamic measure selects the values from the from the table, which is the switch, and uh, if it's this value, it calculates the amount, the sum of the quantity or the quantity from your sales uh, data set. Let me show you where's our sales data set. So we got the, here the sales data set, right? I've showed here sales data set, and on sales data set we have the order quantity and the sales amount. In this case, if it's uh, numbers it, it in, in this case it gets the sales order quantity and makes the sum of that and in case if it's not it's, it's it's the dollar sign in the switch um our switch table it gets the sales amount let me recreate this um condition on our new measure that we are gonna get just click on the measure click on new measure and we are gonna give the name to the new measure and i'm gonna call it dynamic uh, button dynamic switch or I'm gonna just uh, call it the measure switch measure right just give it time that it measures switch 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 measure uh, so we are gonna write select selected value from the switch wall quantity switch right if this value well oh my god i have clicked the enter button now it's gonna 
down on that they're gonna say that it's the problematic and so on but anyways so if it's dollar if it's dollar i want make a sum of my from sales and sales order quantity not the wrong sales sales amount and in case if it is the number we i want to create the calculate the sum of my sales and order quantity here i'm gonna close it we gotta have the error here oh, what's the error what is the error about that so we have close of this here oh, i've been it the closing bracket for our selected values and the closed bracket bracket for the sum here so it, sh it, sh it should work in okay. case it should work selected value huh? okay selected value all right now we need to add the switch so let's say that expression it's selected value is this and it's gonna be the first value in this it's gonna be the this one right let's run it okay now we're gonna have on uh, the switch measure so we don't need all these row values here so we're gonna get rid of these row values and kind of add here the switch and let's test it all right it works right it seems like it's working but there's a problem um the problem that we have here always the heroes showed on the left hand it's all because on the switch we have the currency and well you can switch to the dollars anyways but it's not a problem it's not the main problem the main problem is not that one the main problem is that we have the dollars for the quantity how it's possible to have the dollars for the quantity like i have i i i have sold yesterday 20 dollars of uh potatoes well yeah potatoes that cost 20 dollars anyways like it's not about the even it's about the quantity the quantity cannot be measured by the currency so what we're gonna do we are gonna create the dynamic measure here dynamic let me show you how i created here for for uh, my other uh my my other measure for example here in dynamic here i told to the measure again with the switch this if the selected value is this wait that's not if the selected value is this and then it's gonna be the number otherwise this is going to the for format format all right i'm just gonna copy and pay, paste it because i don't want to lose time of rewriting everything uh, from the scratch so that's why i'm gonna take it and bring it on the switch measure if it, if it lets me to get there to the switch measure oh my god Oh yeah, all right. I'm on the switch measure <laughs> now. Now we already have that copy and past. The only thing that we need to change is the switch because I've changed the name of the table and I called switch call wall and quant switch wall quant. Uh, so we don't want to have the dollars, but we, we want, don't want to have the euros, but we want to have the dollars here. Doesn't matter if you are in in Germany or in Italy. Of course, you can use dollars too. Like it, there's, it's not forbidden so for the rest it should work but i don't know why it, it gives me a problem selected value switch command one switch if this one then this if this one then this so what is the problem with you did i select correctly the switch switch can, can, cannot be found Oh, I have written switch wall quant switch. All right, let's try again. That was the same. Uh, why did it didn't work? I don't know. All right, now let's try it now. Oh, already, like you see, when I have selected this one, it shows me the dollars. Otherwise, it's it's number. It was nice to be with you today. Uh, have a nice day, night, evening, and see you on the next video. Bye.